Välkomna till Poker.se's rapportering från World Series of Poker Europe. Vi har kommit till dag tre. Den här dagen ska vi försöka komprimera ner till 27 stycken spelare innan den är över. Låt oss ta en liten runda runt i spellokalen här och titta lite på vilka som sitter och vänder kort. So we're meeting the famous high stakes player and the master here in London. How is things today for you, man? Yeah, doing good today. I got 27,000 in chip. Now I have almost 50. I'm happy now. I saw you sitting at the feature table yesterday and, and talking a lot. Uh, do you think you have this under control now? Uh, I love to talk on the future table because there's a lot of people watching, a lot of fans and people in the United States watch this, they enjoy it and then maybe they come to London and play with us. Uh, we had the good fortune of meeting you in Las Vegas two years ago. Uh, can you tell us a little bit what you have done since then? Uh, what has been the highlights? Oh, just uh, professional, uh, uh, make a living playing poker is kind of hard now because it, uh, the economic is a little down and, and hard for me to travel around the world playing poker. Uh, so far that I, uh, last year I make uh, like 400,000 sick final table. This year so far it's only four ta final table. So up to like uh, almost 200,000. But for the WSOP in Las Vegas, I in 180,000. I cast out only three times. Three times I cast out like 30,000. I mean 180, they cost me a lot. So I say, oh, the bracelet now is big. So I have to come to London and play in uh, WSOP in Europe. Uh, for a normal person, four uh, final table placements would be a dream come true. For you, in a year, you don't, you're not satisfied anyway. <laughs> yes, because I uh, play a lot of tournaments, but all the big buy-in. Every time it's like 10,000 pounds, 10,000 US dollars, 25,000 US dollars, 15,000 US dollars. All the whole round, the whole year, I have to make above 400,000 to make a living. Uh, for me, because uh, I put too much money into a tournament. If, if it's a tournament that I cast out like four, five hundred thousand, then I'm free roll for the whole year. If I don't cast that kind of money, I'm struggling and have to uh, go around the world or playing to get it back. It's kind of hard, right? Uh, your work is sort of playing cash games. If you compare playing a cash game to playing a tournament with this structure, with a few words, if you would compare it. I said, with this structure, if cash game, I love it, you know. In 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 the, in the cash game, it's kind of hard because people put in buying 100,000, 50,000. I only buy in 20,000, 15,000. You know, if I lose the 15,000 or 10,000, I'm done for a day. But uh, I, I'm jumping to all the big games, so it's kind of hard for me to play tournament and the cash game. But I do play cash game a lot. Like I love, I come to London. I play like a very small game, you know, make it expensive, <laughs> make it live and you know, make it pay for the, my hotels and things like that. Okay, last question. I saw you sit, saw, sat at the same table as Liz Liu before. Uh, do you know her? Yes, she playing with me a lot. She's very uh, a conservative player, she's a very solid player and also she can read people very well. She, she can read some opponent and she can make moves, she can make a real hand. And, and I saw the hand she played pocket aces again, uh, uh, the guy pocket queens. Ray before the flop, this little just smooth call and a flop come deuce three nine. The get, player come out bet like 4500, she make total of 1200. This guy make a 30,000, she move all in. This guy call because there's too much money involved. Hand turnover, she have pocket aces. She play pocket eight very well in, in that situation. And she bust the guy and she double up. That's why she have 190,000 in chips, I believe. And I only, I sit with uh, Liz Liu and I had no hand until you know, the end of the nine. I only had 27,000 left. Right now I got almost 50. I'm happy I'm in the future table. Uh, so you can put in a good word for me, at least Leo, maybe. Morgus, uh, I met Morgus a uh, couple of years ago. We do an interview there, and I have fun with Morgus and handsome, good-looking guy. <laughs> Thank you very much, man, and good luck. Thank you for watching.